Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem lead code 9 palindrome number. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give you an integer and they ask you to check if the input integer is a palindrome number or not. And the integer is a valid palindrome when it's read the same forward and backward. So the easy way to solve this problem is by using the two pointer technique. And the two pointers technique is a method of iterating over element using two pointers that move towards each other until they meet. And also the two pointers technique is the best way to solve any problem that asks to check if the input is palindromic. And also it's used a linear time complexity. So let's say we have this input integer. The first thing we're going to do is to convert the integer to a string so that we can compare the character and also because it's impossible to compare the digits of integer directly. So that's why we need to convert the integer to string or we can use arithmetic operation which I'm gonna show you in the second part of the video. Then we initialize two pointers left and right and we loop throughout the integer using the two pointers and each time we compare the element at the left and the element at the right. If they are the same we move the left pointer to the next element and we move the right pointer to the previous element and we keep repeating the same process until the left meets the right pointer and will return true. If at any moment during the iteration the elements of the two pointers are not the same will return false. So the time complexity of the solution is O of n where n is the number of the digits in the integer and for the space complexity is O of 1 because we are only using variable left and right that take constant space and memory and also the string that we created take a constant amount of memory because the number of characters in this string is limited to the maximum number of digits that the input can have. That's it guys, so let's jump at coding the solution. So the first thing we're going to do is to initialize a variable called string and assign its value to be the integer converted to a string. Then we initialize two pointer left starting at the first value and the right starting at the last value. Then we set a while loop while the left is smaller than the right. We check if the element at the left is not equal to the element at the right where it turn false otherwise we move the left by one and we reduce the right by one finally we return true if the first condition was not activated So the second way to solve this problem is by using arithmetic operations. So we can reverse the digits of the input integer. So let's say we have this input integer. The first condition is that we need to check if the integer is negative or the last integer is equal to zero. So those are the two cases when it's impossible to have a palindrome number. Then we're going to initialize a variable that's going to hold the reversed number of the input integer. Then we're going to loop throughout the input integer and that each iteration we're going to extract the last digit and the input integer by using the modular operator so we're gonna take the one and add it to the reverse number variable and then we eliminate the number from the input integer by dividing the input by 10 so the input will be 13 so we repeat the same process by taking the last integer using the modular operator and dividing by 10 so here we need to take the previous reverse number and multiply it by 10 so we can add the current number to it then we eliminate the current number from the input and we repeat the same process until the end. So the time complexity for the solution is O of n where n is the number of digits in the input integer and for the space complexity is O of 1 since we are not using any additional space inside the memory and we are using just variables. So the first thing we're gonna do is to check if the input is less than 0 means negative or the last number is 0 will return false. Then we initialize a variable called number reversed and set its value to be 0. And we initialize another variable that's gonna hold the origin input we can, so we can compare it to the reversed num at the end. Then we use a while loop while the integer is bigger than zero we initialize a variable called last digit and set his value to be the division of the input x using the modular by 10 to take the last number. And then we add the number to the num reversed variable and each time we'll multiply the previous number reversed by 10 so we can add the last digit to its correct position. And then we eliminate the current digit from the input integer by dividing by 10. Finally we return true if the original input is equal to the number reversed variable. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.